Just a few weeks ago, Gavin's DC star Larry Lamb and our very own Joanna Page said this about a possible reunion. Oh, <laughs> what is a curry? <laughs> Oh, well, they're not telling us for sure. Oh. Can I ask the question? Because I've spent about ten years being asked. Do you ever think there'll be any more Gavin and Stacey? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't if I had to bet off. right now, I'd say not. He's oh. a little liar. A, a little liar. We've had an oh. exclusive statement from our fellow loose woman, Joanna Page. She says she is very excited for the return of the show and she cannot wait to come in and tell us all about it. Yeah. Oh. She is good at keeping secrets. That's a great one. one. She is really good. Judy, yeah. are you good at keeping secrets? You know, I am, but I think I always think there's different levels of secrets. So yeah. There's secrets when someone's like confined in you and telling you something private. You know, there's secrets where you might keep for your own because out of shame, and there's secrets which are produced due to deception. So for me, I'm good with the one in regards to my friends or family if there's something that they don't want me to kind of disclose. So yeah, I think I'm quite good. A lot of people tell me their business. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, I'm just actually thinking about what you were talking about earlier on, the situation mm. that you found yourself in the military. Um, you must have got used to, to having a lot of your life <clears throat> secret and, and not sharing, presumably. Yeah, oh gosh, I mean, what, 34 years of not really talking about me, in my, in my, me as Kelly. Uh, but it's, I think it's easy in certain situations, you know. I, I was very lucky that I had all my friends and family that I could confide in and who just loved me for who I was and I could just trust. But when you're kind of in the public eye for different things you've done and you na you have to second guess every conversation. That's what my life was about. So I would never put myself into a position where I had to lie. So I'd never actually put myself in a position that would somebody say, are oh, you gay? Or have you got a boyfriend? Or I wouldn't even go there. So I would avoid every part of conversation that was just normal So you're just living like you're scared the whole time. Mm, yeah, that's what I lived. Uh, that's what I lived. So it's, yeah. very, it's, it's two worlds, really, because I'm very public. I do my motivational speaking, but I could talk about subjects that are really meaningful to me, mental health awareness, you know, kind of high performance, all of those things. So no one had to come close to that barrier. Mm. But when it comes to personal things, I'm mm. not used to... I, I found it quite hard for the last 18 months, switching off that, that period of being scared and right. not talking, and now finding a voice for Kelly. Mm. And it might, it might sound really strange, but I was never used to just chit-chat. And I don't mean that to be derogatory, but, you know, we come on a show and you talk about everything mm. and anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> most of the time I want to die. Like, I'm still going to go, ah, don't ask me that question. <laughs> and the thing is, it's so hard to then just to find a voice to... And I don't mean a voice as in to be heard, but just to chat. I didn't know how... To, a lot of the yeah. women used to say to me, have you had... You've said this before. Have you had your head under a rock? And I'm like... I think I have. What does, because what does you blink her like now, though, because you're just you're all out there. You're all chit chat now. I'm all chit chat, right? No. So you'd no, be like, there's a no. no. <laughs> we yeah. do that, don't we, in the meetings? You ask something, I'm like, oh! You can't wait to tell us about your first kiss, no. can you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot. But, no, it's liberating yeah. to find me. Mm. I have met more people, socialised, have great conversations, meet up with people, interact, than I've ever done in my life in the last yeah. 18 months. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's and, lovely. Because... And, you know, there's one thing about being secret, but also mm. you're entitled to your privacy. Yeah, you know, yeah, everyone gets to draw the line yeah. where they feel comfortable. You know, and, <laughs> you know, clearly you've had a very kind of unique journey. And uh, so... You're still going to have lines, and, and yeah. but it's feeling that you're not forced to have a line, but th it's your yeah. choice. I think it's important. They, no one needs to know about my sexuality. No one needs... I don't have to voice it. But when you're in particular situations where you feel very vulnerable, and unfortunately, people that are gay have to sometimes out themselves. You have to say, I'm right. gay, because there's a lot of environments that are very hostile still, very, mm -hmm. very, very... Um, uh, cause bigotry and bullying and judgment. And so you have to navigate that world with people. But all I want to do and all other people want to do is just live their life, be happy yeah. and just, yeah. you know, 
just to be seen as normal. I just, I'm just me like, I at the end of the day. I know. I